What's going on you guys? Zade here on ZSPN and today guys we're going to be talking about the Lakers versus the Thunder tonight. Uh, before anything guys please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, share my videos all over Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. I really appreciate all the love and support and the dedication from you guys for making me continuing on to make videos for each and every one of you. I really appreciate all the love and support from all of you. Now, as it concerns the Lakers versus the Thunder, what can I say? I don't know where to start. Not only, sadly, not only that the Lakers lost to the Thunder 114 to 90, but. They were without their leader, their point guard of the future for the Los Angeles Lakers. You guessed it, Lonzo Ball. But plethora of injuries just came out of nowhere for the Lakers, sadly. With KCP with a sprained ankle. Um, to, I believe, Tyler Yanis with, I believe, his fingers... Something like that. Uh, I'm not saying it's a huge deal or anything for him. But that's also a part of an injury that he didn't continue on playing. And also, uh, Kyle Kuzma. I, I believe he... I'm guessing on the top of my head. I'm not so sure. He might have... <coughs> he might have a, 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 maybe a, an elbow or... I'm not so sure with his injuries, guys. I might I'll post his injury on this video so you guys can uh, see what type of injury that he has. But yeah, and also Luke Walton mentioned that Brandon Ingram is still dealing with his uh, ankle, uh, that ankle sprain, the ankle injury that he still that he had like uh, two days ago, but. Um, He's saying it was just nothing. Maybe it was he just wanted to keep him out of the game, so no no further injury can be harm to um, to Brandon Ingram. But um, yeah, guys, the, the Lakers as of as of right now they are falling apart right now with the injuries and just basically, guys, there is no effort whatsoever from this Lakers team. It looked like they just gave up. When against uh, the Thunders, um, and you could just tell defensively there was a no show, um, aggressiveness nowhere to be found. Other than that, um, guys, it was just a bad, bad performance from the Lakers once again. Um, I believe right now they're fifteen and, and with this loss, I believe they're now fifteen and twenty nine. In the league right now, um, is is this really really disappointed, disappointing to see how this Lakers team is being right now? Uh, it's really sad to watch. I'm just really. There's no words to describe what type what type of team that they're being right now. I mean, is if is the question really out there that the Lakers are not a good team without? Lonzo Ball is that the case I mean I'm not so sure uh, there's a whole lot of plethora of questions to be that needs to be answered with this Lakers team is it the coach is it uh, this is, is it because it's a young team and no veteran leadership whatsoever I mean I really thought by bringing in Brooke Lopez and KCP, if you make the argument for him, because you know he is a he is a four year veteran now. So uh, um, with having those two, is that not enough, or are they not the the right people for what I mean, right players to be a sort of uh, veteran uh, presence in the locker room? I mean, I'm not so sure, guys. Uh, it's really, really depressing to see how this Lakers team is being right now. Um, I, I, I don't know what I don't know. Just I just don't know what, what went wrong. Okay, uh, 
in the fourth, in the, I believe maybe the second quarter, they sort of took in the lead, but then somehow the Thunder just came out of nowhere and just with Carmelo Anthony with those great three-point shots. Uh, I, I'm not so sure, guys. I, the, the, something is terribly wrong with this Lakers team, and I personally, I hope something does go go like like something happens pretty soon to help this team um, possibly just be a respectable team in this league, I guess. Because right now, the way are they performing, they are not a playoff team, and we all assume that. I I keep on saying that this Lakers team uh, could possibly make the playoffs. Yeah, you can you can say that because you're a, a fan of your team. I mean, you obviously want your team to be in the playoffs and go go up to the highest level, uh, possibly to the division or the uh, the Western Conference Finals. I mean, you all want that. I mean, your team you want your team to be successful, but with the pieces that they have, yeah, it's obvious that they won't be a playoff team. Laker fans know it. Lakers Nation. I mean, all the Laker fans know that. This year, the Lakers are not a playoff team, okay? They don't have the type of experience, and it's a really young team for them to go up against uh, players like Paul George in the West or the Warriors. I mean, even Houston. I mean, there, there's a lot of pieces that the Lakers have are unable to do to go up against those certain teams. That's why... The offseason in 2018 free agency has to be. It just has to be the year for the Lakers to just go all in on key superstars. Paul George, DeMarcus Cousins, even LeBron James, okay? Guys, there's a lot of pieces and issues that the Lakers need to solve. Uh, I'm not sure if the trade deadline will be the sort of changing moment for the Lakers, because I don't really believe so. But if somehow they can pull something off, maybe make a blockbuster trade and possibly bring in DeMarcus Cousins, I'm not so sure, guys. Uh, there's a lot of pieces and issues that the Lakers need to solve because we want to be... I know we're not going to be a playoff team, but we should be more a respectable team for future team players to possibly join the Los Angeles Lakers in the offseason and free agency. That's the goal for the Lakers that they need to do of now till uh, the season ends. So, guys, I want to know your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. Um, give me your thoughts about this, this Lakers team. What sort of moves that they need to do for the Lakers to be maybe a playoff team, possibly, or just to be a respectable team for future uh, players in free agency that want to join the Los Angeles Lakers because there could be some promise for uh, this Lakers team to become like a, a great team again so guys comment down below give me your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below like this video share my videos all over facebook twitter all that good stuff uh make sure to subscribe to the channel and i see you all in the next video thank you so much for watching let's all hope that the lakers can get back on track here um possibly being a respectable team once again I, or possibly make a huge run for a playoff run, I I'm just not sure, guys. So, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Peace.